is a bounty over 1 billion berries as of the latest chapters of manga. In this video, let's discuss how they got their bounties and whether they actually deserve it or not. All at the bottom of the list is the most valuable pirate, Jack the Drought. He's one of the three commanders of the Animal Kingdom Pirates and one of the most reliable subordinates of Kaido. Jack is a giant fishman that has eaten the ancient zone mammoth devil fruit which granted him both physical strength and durability. He's known for his cruel and brutal methods like the gas attack he connected with Zoe. He's very much loyal to his captain Kaido and was willing to die for him, which earned him a bounty of exactly 1 billion berries, just making it into the list of this club of exclusive pirates whose bounties are over a billion berries. Just about Jack is Kuroashi san the first of four Shah Hearts on this list. Now, Sanji has been proving himself why he has to be on this list from the very starting. Like improving his firefighting skills and even awakening the wind smoke DNA during the raid of Onegashima. He also defeated Queen, one of the commanders of Kaido, and helped Luffy to reach the status of Yongo, which earned him a bounty of 1 billion and 32 million berries, putting him in the top 20 of the highest bounties in the story, which I think is more than justified. Next up in this list is Charlotte Katakuri, the first commander of the Big Mom Pirates. Katakuri is admired by the entire pirate world and has incredible advanced observation haki abilities that allow him to look slightly into the future. He also has an excellent mastery over his incredibly powerful devil fruit, the Mochi Mochi Nomi. Despite his defeat with Luffy, he's a true force to be reckoned with, and he is the second strongest among the Big Mom Pirates, earning him a bounty of 1 billion and 57 million berries. With Katakuri in between, we next have two straw hats and one of them is the first son of the see Jinbei, who was a former warlord and a member of the Sun Pirate. He is also the most powerful user of the legendary art of the Fishman Karate. He is literally able to throw the ocean like it's nothing. This alone is an incredible feat in the world of devil fruit eaters who are weak against sea water. We met him at the deepest level in Bell Down and now he's the helmsman on the ship of the Emperor Luffy, earning him a bounty of 1 billion and 100 million berries. The next shot on this list is Luffy's second in command and the contender for the title of the strongest swordsman in the world, Roro Noah Zoro. No one would complain about Zoro being on this list, if anything, he ranks a little too low here. Zoro has been close to Luffy's equal in terms of power throughout the entire story. Not only being trained under Dracula Mihawk, he is also the wielder of Congress Haki. Zoro has been growing stronger and more terrifying as a fighter throughout the entire story, and Wano is the best example for this. He was not only able to cut through Kaido's scale, but also took down King, the second strongest of the Animal Kingdom pirates. We have seen Zoro countless times sacrificing himself for the sake of Luffy, which clearly resembles the relationship between Trot and Riley. And after all of this, Zoro received a bounty of 1 billion 111 million berries, which I think is a little too less and he should have been in the top 15 valued pirates in the One Piece verse. Now, going forward, we have three remaining Yonko commanders on this list, starting with Queen the Plague. Queen is a second commander of the Animal Kingdom pirates and like the other top officers, he also wields a powerful devil fruit that he has modified with other scientific equipment making him a cyborg. He's not only the strongest fighter but a scientific genius who was on the same group as Vega Punk and Windsmoke Jets. Queen is known for his destructive power and the variety of viruses he created. However, he has been portrayed as a funny character in the story, so I think this bounty of 1,320,000,000 is a little too high for a character like this. On number 15, we have one of the coolest characters in the One Piece verse with the coolest devil fruit, Marco the Phoenix. He's the first commander and the doctor of the White Bear Pirate. Marco has fought many tough characters like the Admirals at Marine Ford, Big Mom, and Kaido subordinates with a little to no damage. He has one of the useful devil fruit, which is a mythical zone type allowing him to transform into a phoenix with Plugia properties. Marco is not only capable of fighting but also can heal a large number of people as we saw at the raid of Onigashima. With these abilities, he stands at 15th position in the list with a bounty of 1,374,000,000 berries which I think is perfect. Next up in this list is another commander of the Animal Kingdom Pirates, King, the Wildfire. He is known to be the only survivor of the Lunarian race who are considered as former gods before the Celestian Dragons. King possesses an incredible power including the ability to ignite himself as we saw in the Wano. He has an extraordinary defense that even Zoro couldn't cut through. Though he has barely lost to Zoro, the fact that he stood next to the Kaido as his right hand man makes him one of the highest valued pirates on this list with a bounty of 1,390,000,000 berries. Moving forward in this list, we have Boba Hankuku. She is not only the captain of the Kuja pirates, but the empress of the Kuja tribes, who are the legendary female warriors on the Maiden Island. She is not only considered to be the most beautiful character in this One Piece verse, but one of the few confirmed conquerors Haki user. And on top of that, she ate the Mera Mera Nomi, which gives her the ability to turn anyone into stone who is attracted to her. This power is so insane that Blackbeard himself tried to get her. This makes her the perfect life partner for our protagonist Luffy, which she self-declared. Undoubtedly, she is the most powerful woman at this moment with 
the bounty of 1,659,000,000 berries. Next in the line is another former warlord of the sea who has just made a comeback into the story, Sir Crocodile. Crocodile is said to be as notorious as Luffy, but his defeat with the white beard pirates made his pace slow and resulted him to become a warlord, and eventually made his mind to get a grip on the ancient weapons and conquer the kingdom of Alabasta. Crocodile was able to build a terrific organization like the Baroque Works and now the Cross Gear. The fact that he wasn't afraid of the admirals or the white beard at the Marine Fort War makes him eligible to be on the list with a bounty of 1,965,000,000 berries, which I consider is a little too high looking at the fact that he lost to a Luffy with no haki or gears. Now we are not only into the top 10 of the list, but also we are jumping from the 1 billion mark to the 3 billion mark. Cause number 9, 10 and 11 are the 3 members of the worst generation who took down the alliance between Kaido and Big Mom. They all are exactly with 3 billion berry bounty. These 3 are already prepared as rivals from the way back of the Shabaori arc and now they have teamed up to take down 2 former emperors of the sea. Kid with his incredible mastery over his devil fruit is just the darker version of Luffy who was able to withstand Big Mom with his brute force. Law on the other hand has the most valuable devil fruit in the entire story. The Ope Ope no Mi not only has incredible fighting skills but it can also grant immortality in exchange of the user's life. Law with his intelligence handles this devil fruit at its fullest which makes him the best supporting character in the entire story. Though Kid and Law took down Big Mom, I think their bounty of 3 billion is a bit too high considering the fact that it took both of them to do so. But where as Luffy, he defeated Kaido on his own. I understand that Oda Sensei want to underline the rivalry among these three, but still a little bit less than Luffy would do it. Just above Luffy is another Yonko, Buggy the Clown. I really don't understand what is happening here or what Oda Sensei is planning, but as far as the story is considered, Buggy deserves no place at all in this list. To be honest, his bounty should be somewhere near 10 million or 15 million berries. But due to the mercy of Crocodile and Mihawk, there we have Buggy the Clown, one of the Yonko with a bounty of 3 billion and 189 million berries. Next, we have the strongest watchman in the world, Dracula Mihawk. Sitting at number 7, Mihawk without any doubt is easily one of the most valuable pirates on this list. He's basically able to fight with anyone and might have become a Yonko himself if Buggy didn't steal the place. Mihawk used to duel Shanks before Shanks lost his left arm and the fact that he forced his sword into a black sword proves his command over at least one form of Haki. And who knows, he also may pull his congress Haki. With this, his new bounty is 3 billion 590 million berries. Barely missing the club of 4 billion berry bounty, we have pirates like Blackbeard who is third emperor of the sea and most likely Lupus biggest enemy at the moment in the race to become the next Pirate King. Teach has purposely laid low on Whitebeard's shape so that he can have his hands on the Yomi Yomi Nomi which gave him a quick yet successive race to his level of Yonko. He assembled a crew of most dangerous pirates from the safest prison in the world impelled down and now has started hunting for devil fruits for his crew. He definitely stays on this list since he is the only and the first person to successfully eat two devil fruits. He undoubtedly is one monstrous character thus earning him a bounty of 3,996,000,000 berries. Also there are some characters that might be on this list but we yet don't know their bounties like Rayleigh, Roxy Zebek, Shanks Tops Officers, Blackbeard's Top Officers, Monkey D Dragon and the Golden Lion Shiki. And now is the time for the top 5 highest ranked bounties on this list and your chance to subscribe to the channel if you already haven't because you don't want to miss my videos. Just as expected, here is the strongest Haki user and probably your favorite Yonko on the list, the captain of Red Head Pirates, Shanks. Shanks is the only remaining Yonko of the original 4 and he has been a very big mission for the longest time in the story and to a certain point he still is. However, we now at least know that he isn't an emperor for nothing. He's a former member of the Roger Pirates that has grown up on Roger's ship fighting alongside the strongest people in the world. As far as we know, he has the strongest haki that can cancel out other people's haki and a presence that can even stun a marine admiral. And on top of that, he has an incredible political power second to no one, rightfully earning a bounty of 4 billion 48 million 900 thousand berries, which is probably too low if I need to be honest. Now from here on, we have all the former Yonkos. Just about Shanks is the person who remained as Yonko for the longest time and is none other than Big Mom. Big Mom is a true force of nature with her 85 children who are no less than monsters. Big Mom is practically indestructible and she also wields the strongest devil fruit which dances soon manipulation. Big Mom pirates are known for their intel gathering and of course tea parties. Even though now she has been taken down, for decades she has been the strongest woman in the One Piece verse with a bounty of 4,388 million berries.
In third place is the person who Big Mom considers as her younger brother and the strongest creature on the planet, Kaido. Another true force of nature in the gigantic size. Seemingly invincible with a mythical dragon devil fruit which made his powers more ridiculously crazy that he became a literal disaster. Kaido is feared by everyone. His presence itself makes his enemies and the world government scared from interfering with Mono. My dude is so terrible that he forgets that he actually had a son and is always drunk. He is believed to be the only person who can change the world by bringing back Joy Boy, which he eventually did but as a bad guy. And he has earned a bounty of 4 billion, 611 million and 100,000 berries. Which now brings us to the two highest bounties on this list, with number two being Edward Newgate, also known as Whitebeard, the former strongest man with 5 billion 46 million berry bounty. And naturally, the person above him is the pirate king Goldie Roger. Roger is the only person who found the large island Laugh Tale and learned the true history of the world. The fact that Roger is the only reason for the great era of pirates makes him the most influential person and the most valued pirate with a bounty of 5 billion 564 million and 800,000 mirrors. So there you have the most valued pirates in the One Piece verse. Subscribe if you want Luffy to become the king of pirates. Bye!